Hello everyone and welcome to another computer tutorial for beginners. I'm Babbage with DigitalBrink.com and today we're going to be talking about how you can change the background image in Windows XP. So changing the background image is a really easy task. Uh, to begin, all you have to do is right click on an open area on your, on your desktop and on the window that comes up, scroll down to the bottom and select properties. And when you click on properties, it should bring up the display properties window. And at the top, you want to click on the desktop tab. And here's where we can uh, view and change our background image. So right now you can see there's a little preview window here that shows me what my current background image is. And in the lower left hand corner here, you can see some of the preloaded uh, background images that comes with Windows. And right now I'm selected on the Bliss wallpaper but if I select uh, any of these other wallpapers here you can see that the preview image changes to just show me generally what my background image might look like if I selected that. Now um, if I decided that I wanted to go with one of these background images uh, like I said before it shows the preview here but if I wanted to actually apply it to see it as my actual background all you have to do is click on the apply button in the lower right hand corner and as soon as you do that, it'll change your background image to whatever you currently have selected. Now, if I wanted to change my background image to maybe like a personal photo or a photo that I downloaded off the internet, what you can do is click on this Browse button. And when you click on the Browse button, it opens up the, uh, the Browse dialog window here. And what you can do is just navigate to the area where you have your images and select the image you want to use as your background and then just hit Open. And when you do that, you can see that it shows my image here in the uh, preview area. And then to apply it, you just hit the apply button just like you did before. Now, there's also um, positioning that you can choose from for your background image. And Windows gives you an option of three different types of positions. You can center it, tile it, or stretch it. By default, uh, stretch is probably the one that you're going to want to use because it'll take your background image, no matter what image you select, and stretch it to both the width and height of your background. But there's other options here like center and tile that you might want to choose from. If you select center, what it'll do is it'll take your image and while leaving it at its regular resolution, center it on the screen. So you can see here, before when I had my position set to stretch, it shows my preview here but it's the full width and height of the preview area. If I set this to center, it's just going to take my image, blow it up, and show me just the center area. And that's because uh, my image is actually larger than both the width and height of my background. Now if I had a smaller image, when I have my smaller image set to stretch it still shows it as being the full width and height of my background. But when I set it to center, you can see that it's a lot smaller than my preview area. And that's because um, this is a smaller image, it's not going to take up the full you know, width and height of your background. And also here you can see that there's a color uh, around the edges here. And this is the color that you choose down here. For example, if I wanted to choose yellow as being my surrounding color, when I select that and hit apply, that's going to be the background image here. So for right now we're just going to leave it as that blue color. Now there's also another option here called tile. If you select tile with a small image, what it's going to do is it's going to take your image and repeat it uh, across the width and across the height of your screen. So if I were to apply this, you can see it takes that same image and repeats it both across the width and the height of my screen. If I had a larger image and I had that set to tile, what that will do instead is uh, scroll to the upper left hand corner and it won't really tile very well because my image is so large. So all I see is this one little tiny section of what my background image could be. So for the most part you're going to want to leave your positioning to just set to stretch. And that's really all there is to changing the background. It's a pretty easy process. You can get images from you know, uh, digital cameras, off websites that are made for wallpaper, off uh, Google Images, any, anywhere really, uh, if somebody sends you a photo in your email, you can use that as your background. Uh, just as long as it's an image file, you can set it as your background image. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit something here today, and check out digitalbrink.com for more tutorials, and thanks for watching.